Welcome guys. Uh, today we're going to do a video for you, a video review of this ice shaver that you may have already researched and kind of saw them on eBay or Amazon. They're all over the place. Um, and to look at them, you'd almost think the price is too good to be true if you've priced out ice shavers, um, the commercial style. So my son and I decided to do start a new shave ice business this uh, summer. Uh, I used to be in the business uh, doing lemonades and vending equipment and all that stuff and since I've sold it uh, and he was a little young during that time but since that time he has took an interest, uh, taken an interest to uh, start his own business and I'm helping him with that and um, so our goal is to uh, eventually buy one of the snowy uh, branded shavers. They're excellent, known in the industry as just being top notch and uh, so what we're doing is experimenting. So. We found this one. You can find them on the internet. eBay and Amazon is the most typical uh, places for them. They range about 120 bucks all the way up to about a five, over 500 from a couple companies, which is ridiculous. Uh, so if you know what you're doing, know what you're looking for, and I'll link in the section below. Uh, but anyway, uh, tell them hi. Hi guys. So we are going to do a video review. We're going to discuss a little bit about shaved ice in general, but the video uh, was designed uh, to show you about this unit you may have a question about. So the unit itself, again, I uh, bought this off of Amazon. Here's what I figured. Uh, at $140, I could buy two or three of these units for the summer, kind of getting going, and then uh, buy one of the more expensive commercial units from Snowy. Uh, but they're about $3,000. So, you know, they're, they're expensive and they're, they're quite of an investment. And because I'm helping him uh, with the money, decided we would try this first just to see. I actually uh, was told about this unit from another uh, guy in the vending industry and decided to give it a try and that's what we're doing so far we've had it for a little over a week now and we've probably just during testing and what we've eaten personally we've probably already uh, shaved close to 100 ices uh, matter of fact we did one the other day just testing how much the hopper would hold and how long uh, it would take us to shave x amount and how many pounds and trying to do some math as far as uh, time wise uh, during an event and we shaved up 20, 18 or 20 of them just back to back uh, real quick like just seeing. So we probably shaved well over 100 at this point. Uh, but I'm going to show you around the unit. I'm going to take it off the tripod. It'll be a little shaky and then we'll uh, get to a little more. But I want to show you a couple little details here. So I've added a few things and we'll discuss that uh, here in a minute. But it is, this holds um, what's called bag ice or just chunks of ice. So that's convenient. You can obviously pick the bag ice up on the way to an event, throw it in a cooler uh, at your local convenience store. Um, it does have a safety switch built in, so if the lid is up, it will not come on. The inside is all aluminum, so you don't have to worry about uh, corrosion. And um, the blade itself is stainless steel. It is up in here. Um, the only negative so far about this situation with this uh, shaver is uh, sometimes you'll need to replace a blade either it gets dull and or it might would chip or break or something this company does not offer the blades which was a little concerning at first but you know for what you're paying for it compared to other commercial shavers um, pretty cheap so i'll just buy a couple of these units and have a backup system uh, as far as an extra shaver around so it has a, a typical on off switch right here um, in the center is off uh, up is on then it also has a reverse so if you would have an issue uh, with ice or something binding up in here you can put it in reverse and then uh, be able to unclog that or uh, unjam that it has a knob here uh, that allows you to uh, do the different types of ice whether it be a little more coarse or a little more fine now i will tell you with this unit it does not uh, do super super fine shavings so it's kind of a compromise between something it's not and you can actually do what's called a snowball style uh, with this that is um, very coarse kind of chunky um, but and then you can do it pretty pretty powdery but it's not just and we'll we'll show you here in a minute in in doing that um, has a drain plug here has a drain here this uh, you can remove this so all the water that goes from up in here down into here as it melts comes out this little hose that's back in there goes into this trough and then it drains out here they do give you two plugs that go in here and what i was telling you about that i've added is this drain tray that i made uh, if you bought one uh, commercially already done up and ready they're about 50 or 60 bucks so i bought this off of ebay 
for like $12 and I bought the uh, pan, I bought a two pack at Sam's Club for like $18 or something. So aluminum, it's not gonna rust or anything, this is brass. And then I just bought this little connection at my local Lowe's for a couple bucks and then the hose. I also added a foot pedal. For standard home use that you're gonna use this for birthday parties, special occasions, maybe at your pool parties and things like that, um, you're, you probably don't want a foot pedal. Uh, the foot pedals are not overly expensive. I think I paid less than $30, $40 for this one. Again, I'll link everything in the section below for you guys uh, what exactly I bought. Uh, but the foot pedal does come in handy. Now, with that safety switch, this is where the safety switch is, it uh, keeps it uh, where it won't operate while the unit is open. Put that unit down, put that into the uh, uh, on position. What happens is your unit plugs into this cord and then you plug it into the socket. But when you cut it on, you use your foot just like that. So I'm going to put this back on the tripod and we'll go over a few things here. So our business model is a little different and I'll tell you what we decided to do. Um, what we, uh, most people think of snow cones or whatever, shaved ice, they either serve in something like this, which is a standard styrofoam cup. These are convenient, cheap, and easy to buy at your local Sam's Costco. Then you have what's called a flower cup. Uh, some people, they're also referred to as a dam cup, um, D-A-M, because it kind of creates a dam to hold your flavoring. Now, we're gonna do a flavor station which speeds things up so we're not gonna hand pour everything. And this style cup will keep from making near as a mess either at your flavor station or even if you're hand pouring them yourself because it kind of helps contain, and we'll demonstrate that here in a minute with the flavoring but uh, with this a little cheaper but i think these uh, if even if you charge a premium so when we were doing lemonades at uh, festivals and fairs and stuff i only had one size two flavors i had a traditional lemonade and then i had a strawberry lemonade and two different price points four dollars and five dollars i'm going to do a similar concept with this instead of having two or three different sizes we're going to do an eight ounce flour cup which is this and one price and we're gonna have two add-ons. Uh, we're gonna have a what's called a sour spray or a sour blast, which creates a sour flavoring for any of your flavors. So if you have just regular traditional grape flavor and you put the sour blast in it, it will actually uh, make it very sour. So the other thing we're gonna do is offer what I call a snow cream. Uh, some people call it a snow cap, um, but it is made from condensed milk. This is my special formula. Uh, I just dilute it down a little bit, add a little vanilla flavoring, and uh, put this on top of the ice. This is my favorite, this is great. Uh, put it on something like strawberry or tiger's blood. It's very, it's very appetizing, it's very good. So I'm gonna demonstrate the unit itself. Again, bag ice, this right here is just some ice I got out of my Freezer, and dump it in there. Same thing. Close that. And I'm gonna do one in this first because a lot of you may use these at home. So I'm gonna show you how that's gonna work. Once you get to this stage, it's kind of full. So you kind of cup it. And then create a little bit of a top. I personally do not like the uh, snow cone stores uh, that are vendors that pile it really high. Um, I like something like this. I would rather have a bigger cup and less of a top. So that's kind of up to you. Uh, I think it's just easier. It's, it's, it's going to make a mess uh, with it being real tall. The kids have a potential to knock it over, you know, whatever. But something like this is a little more manageable. So I like that style better. We'll also do one in a flower cup for you guys. One thing you'll notice that this unit kind of has a washing machine effect, kind of vibrates around and that's where the ice is not even inside. So that is a negative about this machine. It does have that. Now normally with a foot pedal, it's pretty easy to, for me to just lay my hand up here. And you want to put about that much. Again, some people pile it up really big. I've got a couple of these funnels. These are just standard plastic funnels you'd buy at your local. Uh, I actually got them at Harbor Freight for like a buck. 
Um, but I do that in the center. Come around here and start taking the edge around like that. And now you got a nice looking smoke on. If you wanted to knock off the edge, you could. Some people do that at those uh, smoke on shops. I think it's just wasting ice. I just soon leave it. So one thing you can do is uh, take one of these little dowel rods. I think my wife had these for baking. And you can poke a couple holes and then one down the center. That will help the uh, syrup go all the way down to the bottom. So let's look at consistency real quick. Because I told you that you cannot get it but super that super thin uh, silky. But if you look, it does smooth. That's one test you can do. Take the back of your spoon and run around and see how it smooths out. So it's, uh, it's good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, but one thing I'll show you real quick on these toppings, because we're gonna do a flavor station, what I'm gonna do with my toppings is simply this. I'm gonna give them, uh, I'm not gonna put the stuff on. I'm gonna put this across the top, squeeze that down inside that hole so it goes all the way to the bottom. And then the customer will go to the flavor station and add their syrup. Now, if you watch how that uh, snow is absorbing that, it does really good. So we'll take a look with the spoon. It's really good. It's about the right consistency for me. Me personally, I do not like the super fine shaved ice. It's, um, it's a little too syrupy, a little too... Uh, sweet for me. This right here kind of changes that with the ice texture. But it's very good. One thing I'll show you real quick on this uh, unit here. This has a, the handle of the adjustment knob. And I'll show you something on the adjustment knob. If you go all the way to the left, it's coarse. If you go all the way to the right, it is supposed to be uh, more of a uh, thinner shaved ice. So if I turn this to the tightest setting, thinking, okay, I'm going to get that super fine shaved ice, here's what happens. Nothing comes out. That's the problem. So if I adjust it all the way, and you can take this, this if you keep going it too far, this knob will actually come off. Um, but then... And it's still not terrible, even at its most open setting, um, but it definitely um, has a little more of a crunch to it uh, because of that. So I kind of go in the middle, over there, um, and kind of get where it's sort of, I kind of test it when I'm setting the machine up. I run out of ice. Let me go, uh, let me get a little more ice here, guys. And close the lid so I kind of just uh, work with it where it's coming out nice but then it's kind of got that texture that I like so that kind of gives you an idea like I said it's definitely like the snow uh, you have see that so just to kind of give you some ideas, I'll put a little more, watch the flavor soak in. So it definitely soaks in the flavor where an ice cone uh, or a snow cone, the, uh, you'll notice that the flavor a lot of times is in the very bottom of the cone. Um, the ice chips themselves will absorb some of it, but not a lot of it. So that gives you an idea. But what we're going to do, guys, is a series of videos as we go along and, and learn more about uh, the business and kind of what we've done. This will be a good project uh, if you got any kids or even yourself trying to make some extra money. Uh, we're going to show you our setup and maybe we'll show you some of our events we're working, some business advice. If you have that, you're more than welcome to I have years ex of experience. 
uh, in that industry and uh, just kind of getting started back. I currently work for a company as a sales rep and I've been happy with that. So, But he wanted to do it and I thought it would be a good uh, time to uh, start some things. But I hope this was helpful as far as showing you a few things about shaved ice and the actual uh, unit itself. If you're considering getting into the shaved ice business, the most important thing to remember besides your shaver is the quality of your syrups. Now you've got Snowy, you've got Hawaiian Shaved Ice. There's some good people out there that offer good uh, syrups. So make sure you're buying the best quality syrups. Don't go uh, the cheapest way you can go because you won't repeat business. So some of the things that we're going to go to is like some of the what's called a cruise in car show. They usually hold them about once a month or twice a month in local towns and it's usually in their downtown district and um, you want to be able to have repeat business. So if I'm going there every you know, third Tuesday of every month for the next three or four months, I want repeat business. And if they bought one you know, last month and they liked it, they're going to buy another one. Um, but the way to accomplish that is making sure you have good quality syrup. Uh, you can get away with a, a shaver that's not the best as far as the snow quality, but have really good flavors and good pricing, good service, things like that. Um, but if your flavors are nasty and they don't like them or they just feel like they just didn't get a good value, they're not going to buy from you. So do not skimp. Go with a company like Snowy, uh, Hawaiian Shaved Ice, uh, I think there's Southern Snow. There's some good companies out there. Um, I'm using Snowy. That is uh, the brand that I've chosen. I did buy this uh, pack here uh, from Hawaiian Shaved Ice. They had a little special that I picked up just to try some testing things with. Uh, but uh, I'm getting ready to order everything from Snowy. Uh, we're doing six total flavors. You don't need 30 some flavors. Um, research around. I'll be glad to put in the link below or the section below down there if you have questions about what flavors we chose. But we're just going to do six flavors and two toppings. We're going to do the Sour Blast and then also do the uh, um, uh, cream topping, the snow, the snow cream topping I call it. So but anyway, I hope this was helpful. If you got any questions, you can post those below. Keep an eye out for other future videos. Uh, subscribe to the channel and then you'll be able to get uh, you know new channel, uh, new things. And we'll do discussions about business in general uh, with the vending and, and concessions and all that. Uh, we'll do probably some a uh, lot more videos about that as we go along uh, with the uh, new channel that we've created here. But tell everybody bye. Bye guys. Thank you for joining in, and uh, we'll bring you another video shortly. Have a great day.